My dear friends, this is Dr. Rajiv Dhawan, your ENT faculty with Doctorials, and I present to you the five important points of mucormycosis. Now, mucormycosis is asked in all sort of examinations. Yes, number one, which patients would get mucormycosis? Number one is the uncontrolled young diabetics. Number two, people who are taking immunosuppressive drugs. Number three, HIV positive patients. Number four is the COVID-19 patients, and number five is the people who have got the high steroid usage. Second question, what is so special about mucormycosis that it made headlines in all the channels? Mucormycosis is angio-invasive fungus. So, it will grow into the blood vessels and via the blood vessel, it will reach the orbit and brain. Second thing is, because it causes angio-invasion, it leads to ischemic necrosis. That is why the black color comes. The third point about mucormycosis, what is the difference between the early symptom and the late symptom of mucormycosis? In the initial one or two days, the cheek will be red in color. Redness over the cheek, nasal obstruction, blood stain in discharge, and the eye swelling, blurring of vision, diplopia, and the loose upper teeth. There's no black color in the early stages. After a few days, what we get the black color due to ischemic necrosis. And guys, two points to remember, number one, blackish nasal mask and number two blackish discoloration around the eye my dear friends do remember the black color will come after a few days the fourth important point is what are the investigations for this patient number one the best investigation will be biopsy my dear friends qis fungal smear has got no significant value for mucormycosis and the second one is the best radiological investigation is contrast mri on contrast MRI, you see black turbinate sign like this. And the fifth and last thing, what is the drug of choice for mucormycosis? Everybody knows that liposomal amphotericin B is a drug of choice. Along with that, we do the debridement. Keep learning.